Hello everybody, welcome back to our welding, I was about to say welding Wednesdays, but we're actually doing these on Mondays now. We found that this is better for you, um, our viewers, and uh, if this is a problem, let us know. But welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Orion laser welders. Awesome machines. Um, all of our webinars in the past have been about our pulse arc welders and other um, resistance welding technology. We haven't done anything on lasers yet, so today... We're going to talk about the lasers. Awesome machines. Um, to get started, we want to show you a video that was made by our product manager, Dave Holloway. So let's watch that video. If, if you've already seen it, cool. If not, it's on our YouTube page um, in the laser playlist. Your business is important. You know that and we know that. At Sunstone Engineering and Orion Welders, we feel that your success is our success. And we strive to deliver tools that help you save time and money and make you more successful. One product that we make, the Orion Laser Welders, are just that tool. Orion Laser Welders are designed with you in mind. They're compact, they're sleek, and they are space saving. You don't need another piece of equipment taking up valuable space in your shop. The Orion Laser Welders are perfect for that. The Orion Laser Welders feature a touchscreen interface. On the Welding Parameters tab, all of the variables are controlled by slider bars. It's very easy incredibly easy to make changes and you can go from minimum to maximum with one simple touch try that on any other laser welder and you'll find that it's quite difficult the other thing is the visual feedback of a slider bar you can know if you're at 50 percent power 75 percent power 25 percent power just by looking at it we also feature a built-in camera which means on that same touch screen interface you can look and see your work as you weld without needing to look through the microscope and in addition we feature an HDMI out port, which means you can plug in an HDMI cable and put your work up on the big screen. The Orion laser welders are built to save you time and headache. The maintenance on this machine is as minimal as it can get. For starters, there's no water filter that needs replacement. Also, we use LED lights inside the chamber to keep everything well illuminated without adding unnecessary heat. Whatever your application, the Orion laser welders are built to perform. The features they include for the price that you pay, make them the ideal solution for your business. You've got the work, we've got the tools. All right, so that was a sweet video that Dave made um, going over just some of those features about the laser welders that really stand out and help our lasers stand out apart from everyone else. Um, one thing I want to do real quick before we continue is uh, do kind of a difference comparison between our pulse arc welders and our laser welders. Everything we've talked about so far up to this point has been pulse arc welding. Um, so as you know and as you've seen in some of the videos, and maybe you don't know and you're just tuning in today for the first time, but with a pulse arc welder, there's a couple things you have to do. You have, it's, it's using electricity to produce a weld, right? So what you have to do is connect a grounding clip to your workpiece and then you have to touch your workpiece to the electrode and then that electrode create, uh, you know, retracts, creates an arc and, and then you get your weld. With a laser welder, it's using light. Okay, So everything is happening internally, it's producing a light beam, just like you'd see in the movies, right? The light beam comes down on top of your workpiece. And what happens is you look through the microscope or you look through your on-screen camera here and you have to line up the crosshairs and uh, you don't have to actually physically touch anything and you don't have to ground anything. So you just put your, your workpiece you know, in the chamber and uh, line it up where you want it. Line up the crosshairs. There's crosshairs here and there's crosshairs in the microscope. And then that laser beam just comes down right on top. You step on a foot pedal and the laser beam comes down and fuses the metal. So that's the difference between pulse arc welding and laser. Obviously there's a lot more to talk about and we'll do that in future episodes. But the kind of general difference is pulse arc welders use electricity. You have to use a grounding clip and touch the electrode. The laser, it's uh, using a light beam that comes down. Uh, and you don't have to ground anything. You don't have to uh, physically touch anything, but you do have to hold your hand steady and let that beam come down right on top where you want to land. Something that uh, that we love about the laser and that many people that use the laser love 
is that you're able to get into uh, harder to reach areas. So if you had you know, something that was like at a 90 degree angle, uh, a lot of times it's hard to get that electrode in on the pulse arc welders and touch that spot. Whereas with the laser, you, as long as you aim it, that laser beam can just go right in and touch it. Now another thing, on the pulse arc welders, as you increased your power, your weld spot size got bigger. And as you decreased your power, the weld spot size got smaller. There was no other way to control the spot size. It was all dependent upon where your power was set. With a laser, something really cool is that you can control your power and your spot size independently. Since it's a laser beam coming down, I can say I want my beam to be 2 millimeters wide or 0.2 millimeters wide, all using the same amount of power. So if I have a really big beam, a uh, laser beam of a uh, two millimeter diameter, and my power is low, then it's not going to have a lot of penetration. But you can use that for uh, surface smoothing uh, and polishing. Um, if I have my power at the same, uh, all things equal, and then I I lower that spot size to a point two, it's going to hit with a lot of uh, force, and it'll either put a hole like you can punch holes in sheets of metal, or it'll just be a lot of uh, a deep, deep penetration. So that's really cool about the laser. You can control power and spot size independently. The laser, you can do uh, a really high frequency. Um, you can do up to 30 welds per second, depending where your power's at. But either way, you step on the foot pedal, and that uh, beam just goes continuously, very fast. So you can do a seam really, really fast. Um, or you can kind of flatten out and polish metal. If you've added metal to an area and you need to uh, flatten it out and polish it, you can do that very quickly with the laser, which is very cool. Um, so those are just some differences between pulse arc welding and laser welding. We'll go into more detail in a future episode, but today we just want to show you the machine. All right, so as Dave mentioned in the video, you have your sliders here to make all your different settings. Um, which make it really easy to see what you're doing. Um, one touch, you know, to the different waveforms and all that. But the thing I want to focus on right now is the other cool features about this touch screen, okay? So here we set all of our parameters. Here's where you switch if you want to go to the camera mode. So then, as you can see, uh, let me figure out where my hand is here. I'm using my left hand and I'm right handed. Here it is. So there you get a, a nice view of what you're welding. You just have to bring that into focus. Once you're focused, you can do your weld. And I don't have the right power settings to, to get a good weld right now, but that's what it looks like. Um, that's really cool. Like Dave said, you can get an HDMI cable and run this same uh, image of what you're seeing here up to a, a TV or a computer. Um, video, this is where you can watch some different videos on one, how to replenish the water in your tank, or two, how to uh, align the crosshairs, like those crosshairs you just saw through, the, through that last video. Another cool feature, you got your different manuals, uh, what we have here on the system, and then lastly, the settings tab, which is just your uh, different settings. Uh, you can know how many welds you've made, things like that. So, um, so if we come back here to this camera, or this view, uh, and this is our where we set our power settings, and we'll mess with those now, and, and then we'll do some welds here. Okay, so as I was mentioning, uh, you have a crosshair. So there it is right there, the little red crosshair. You just need to line your workpiece up, and when you're holding your hands in the chamber, you just have to make sure that you are in view, uh, focus. So if I'm down, I'm out of focus. And if I'm up, I'm out of focus. So I just have to position the part where it's in focus. And then just like the other uh, pulse arc welders, you have to make sure the piece is held together and, and you know there's no gap. And then you just step on your foot pedal and begin welding. So I'm at nine welds per second right now. And you can tell, so I can just I can do, you know, step on my foot pedal lightly and do one weld at a time, a couple welds at a time. Or if I want to do this quickly, 
I can just hold that foot pedal down. And just go all the way around really quickly. And I think with my power settings, I'd probably even be able to take it, take the power a little bit higher. Or sorry, take my frequency higher and do that even faster. But there we've welded all the way around very quickly. And so that's where the speed comes in. Now, where I was talking about polishing an area, if I had metal built up right here in this in this area, I could again just step on the foot pedal and basically move that metal down and polish that area out. So a really cool feature. So an example of like smoothing something out, you have the threads from this screw right here, right? So if I just step down on my foot pedal, oh, I lost focus, there we go. Here's where you can see how I can just smooth that area out. So pretty cool how the laser can do that. And I can, again, uh, with the laser I can change my beam so that it's either wider or uh, skinnier and and that'll affect the way you you know the result that you get Man, it's been really fun doing this episode with you guys today. It's been like a month since we've had a webinar. I've been having withdrawals. I don't know about you guys, but it feels good to be back. We hope you guys have questions. Um, if you do, we're going to keep this feed running for a little while so you can chat in questions. Um, look to our website, uh, the webinars page. You go to sunstonewelders.com slash webinars. Uh, you'll find all the information we've been talking about, additional information, we'll, we'll put up some different, um, you know, training documents that, that go over these things we've talked about. And stay tuned for more laser welding webinars because we're going to get into more detail about some of the things we've talked about today. Settings on, you know, if you're welding silver versus gold versus platinum, things like that. And we're really excited to, to do some more laser focused webinars. Again, thanks for joining. Uh, and we'll look and see you guys next time.